सो बेसिकली आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज दैट ऑल आर मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ डेंगू वायरस एक्सेप्ट कैटरेक्ट मैक्योलोपैथी विट्रस हेमरेज एंड ऑप्टिक न्यूरोपैथी सो आंसर हेयर वुड बी द कैटरेक्ट सो रिमेंबर समटाइम्स द डेंगू वायरस विच इज अ वेरी कॉमनली आस्ट क्वेश्चन इन योर पी जी एग्जाम इट कैन अफेक्ट योर आई ऑल्सो सो वी वुड जस्ट एन्यूमरेट वॉट आर द बेसिकली ऑफथेलमिक मैनिफेस्टेशंस ऑफ डेंगी फीवर ओके सो द मोस्ट कॉमनली सीन इज आर पी ई डिस्टर्बेंसेज द रेटनल पिगमेंट एपिथीलियल डिस्टर्बेंसेज यू कैन गेट हाइपर पिगमेंटेशन यू कैन गेट वाइटिश लिजन्स लेट से इफ यू दिस इज योर रेटना you can get some whitish lesions here and there or some near the macula you can get some black spots there okay so these are the rp disturbances that uh, wherever there is retinal pigment epithelium there can be slight change in the color of that so rp disturbances is the most common feature then what you see is macular edema now why macular edema is important because whenever there is a macular edema there would be decreased vision okay then vascular occlusion now what are vascular occlusions like crvo crao so sometimes you can land up in crvo and crao type picture also with a dengue virus then vascular sheathing now what is vascular sheathing like that you get in the hypertensive retinopathy also so let's say this is the vessel so you get a impaired reflex when you see with the dire the direct ophthalmoscopy or 90 d near the vessels okay then very important is optic neuritis sometimes you get disc edema or disc hemorrhage also with the dengue fever then very rarely you can get subconjunctival hemorrhage or uveitis so these are the main features of dengue virus and its ophthalmic manifestations so our next question was nucleus of upward gazes your options were pprf nucleus refer magnus cuneiform nucleus and interstitial nucleus of cachel so answer here would be interstitial nucleus of cachel now you should remember what are the nucleus involved in upward gaze okay so these are rostral interstitial mlf okay interstitial nucleus of cajal and posterior commissure okay 